Hey, today I'm going to show you five a bit hidden, a bit underrated tools in the new Affinity. So let's start with the first one. It's a background eraser tool. It's not a new tool. Some people think this is something new. No, it's actually opposite. It's a very, very old fashioned tool. You can find it in the pixel persona, head to eraser tool. And then if you press and hold, you will see that two different modes under that basic eraser. So we're talking about this background eraser brush. Here it is. Then be sure the layer with the raster image is selected. You can control the size of the brush and the hardness of it, like with any other brush. And the whole trick is to point most of your brush into the background color. So like 60-70% of the brush area must pointing to the backdrop, in my case the sky, and the brush will simply detect colors. So he will assume that this light blue is what we want to get rid of, and the contrasting color like the green area is the one we want to maintain. So it's a great way if you want to skip using AI, machine learning, or manual selections, you can try this one. I think the best part is you can use it without any selection. So you don't need to just depend on the AI background erasers, you can use this tool. It's really simple, it will simply detect the contrast between two colors and help you to erase only the backdrop. So be sure most of the brush is pointing to the backdrop because if I move it down too much, I'll be pointing to the green color. So the program will try to get rid of the green color. Luckily, you can see the live preview before you even click. So that's also helpful. All right, so that's one hidden tool. Every time I use it in my video tutorials, people have been asking, what's that tool? Is that a new thing? No, it's a very old fashioned eraser tool. Keep in mind, it's a distractive eraser tool. We are erasing certain pixels and it's also leave the brush history on your layer as this is the brush. All right, so that's our first hidden tool. Go to pixel persona and it's hidden under the regular eraser. Second thing, copy and paste. I even got some comments stating that's not in this, available in this program because people coming from Adobe, they right click on the layer and they search for copy style here. And that's not the case. What you do is you do a regular copy. So you can just copy and then go to the new layer. And then again, people click in the layer panel and search for paste style. That's not the case. What you need to do, you need to go to the top in the edit area. You will have an option to paste and you can decide what do you want to paste. The whole object, the style, special effects, insights, or no formatting pasting. So you can copy like a regular copy and then while you paste and you decide that they want to copy the style, bam. So you move style from one to another using just copy and paste. So regular copy, come and see, and then instead of pasting, go to the menu, edit, and see what are the options for pasting, because there's more than one option. Here's the style at the very top. You can also use command shift and v for that all right quick grid so how can we click quickly draw multiple shapes to do that we need to grab a shape tool that's in the vector persona so let's grab any shape you need so let's say it's a some kind of bubbly thing select the color select the shape tool and then we can start drawing if you now press arrow to the right, press, 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 I will be making duplicates to the right. If I press the arrow down, I'm making duplicates down. If I press and hold arrow to the right, this arrow will allow me to make spaces. And the arrow down, press and hold, spacing. Of course, I can still press and hold shift for the perfect one-to-one -one proportion. And this way you can draw multiple shapes in the one go. This feature is called quick grid. What if I want to transform those? By default they will transform as one, but we can change that. Head to the move tool and be sure you are transforming them separately. So you must click here, transform separately, and now 
each object will be transformed as the independent one. So a little trick how to create multiple shapes very, very quickly. All right, what is the trick number four? Line mode. Again, multiple comments stating that the line tool is missing in Affinity. It's not missing. It's simply a special mode for the pen tool. So when you are in the pen tool, you need to switch from the regular pen tool that gives you those hard to control lines to the line mode. And with the line mode on, you will be drawing lines. They are not connected. They are not creating one big shape. You're drawing separate lines. That's the line tool. So the line tool is here. How can we create more advanced lines? In that case, you can go to the polygon mode and this way you will be drawing one longer line with the straight sections like that. All right, my line is not perfect. What, what can I do to fix it? You can use the node tool, select all of the nodes in that line and make them space evenly like that. Then I can take node tool again, select the top part and I can align that. I can take the bottom part and again I can align that. And this one you can modify your lines to look a bit better. So keep in mind the line tool is the mode for existing pen tool. So you can change here and you will be drawing lines. I'm not clicking escape on the keyboard. I'm simply in the line mode. And the line mode will allow you to draw one single line very quickly. All right, what's next? That's the last kind of hidden thing because many, many other programs got very limited selection of shapes. So that's why people assume that you got only few shapes, but that's not the case here. Take a look, there's a very long list of shapes and most of them comes with some kind of smart control system. So if I draw a shape like that, can you, let's change the color maybe. So can you see those orange points all around it? Those points allow you to modify the shape very quickly. So you can make changes to this shape and turn it into something else. You can also take a look at the very top because usually there are sliders that control the same very same shape. So multiple shape tools comes with some kind of built-in smart controls. You can see them as orange points or some of them are as the additional sliders at the top. So take the full advantage of the shape tool. You don't need to draw everything by hand. So keep in mind, many shapes come with smart controls. A line tool is simply a mode for the pen tool. Quick grid is when you're drawing multiple shapes by tapping arrows. You can copy and paste style. Simply copy the whole object like normal and then go to edit paste and select style as the pasting option. There is this super ancient old school backdrop eraser tool that is perfect. You've got strong contrast between the backdrop and the foreground. All right, I hope those five tools will help you to work even faster in Affinity by Canva. I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.